guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I'm going to make for you my keto version of the Starbucks pink drink. Uh, first I will let you know that this is a sponsored video. I was given this tea kettle but the reviews are my own and the recipe I found some million years ago and kind of tweaked it to be my own on Pinterest. So, I was sent this tea kettle from a company called Vossen. Um, I love this tea kettle. It works really quickly. I will show you here in a minute. I've got it coming up the temperature behind me because we gotta brew some tea. Um, there will be a link in the description box below if this is something that you would like to purchase. If not, enjoy this drink. But the company, like I said, is Vossen, V-O-S-E-N, and it's a 0.8 liter electric tea kettle. And I'm telling you my favorite part is the spout. I love it, but I'll show you that in a second. So let's get some tea brewing here. So what I have, and this is from Thrive Market, but you can brew any tea. It just needs to be hibiscus blend. So you want plain hibiscus tea. This is unsweetened. It's not the pre-brewed stuff. Although if you can find it at the store that's pre-brewed that doesn't have any sugar in it, or if you don't have an issue with sugar, you can buy that. Um, so what I did is I read the directions on the side and it says for iced tea, bring four cups of water to a boil, pour over three to five tea bags and brew for three to five minutes. So I have five tea bags in here and I have the water coming to temperature. I'm going to try this sugar-free French vanilla from the Dollar Tree. Now, um, I've not tried it yet, so I'll let you know how it tastes when we do this taste test. If not, I know that Skinny Syrup sells a vanilla. Um, you can get the vanilla pretty much anywhere. I prefer the vanilla sugar-free syrup, but that's me. And then I'm going to have some cream, which is in the fridge. But first, I need to brew the tea. I need to let it steep for three to five minutes, and I need to let it cool down. And then I'm going to come back, and we're going to make our drink. So let me get the tea kettle that's come to boil. All right, here's the tea kettle. Let me show you this side. In this lever over here, it sits on a base that plugs in. You fill it up, you push this lever. There's some lights here that will tell you when it is up to temperature. Plus you can hear it and when it starts boiling, it turns off on its own. Now this is a four cup measure. And I'm just going to pour the boiling water. I'm going to tell you, I love having a tea kettle. I didn't realize it till I went to uh, London for the first time and we had a tea kettle in our room and it was pretty amazing. And it's so convenient, especially in the winter time. I love some hot tea. So that to me is worth the purchase. I have another one, but I think I'm going to put it away and get this one out. Um, yeah, and it's a black, they have it in black. There's a little steamer up here, your warning, the sign, it comes to boil super quickly. So what I'm gonna do is let this steep, no, I'm gonna let this tea steep for three to five minutes to get a concentrated, nicely brewed hot pink hibiscus tea. And when it's cooled down, I will bring it back and we will, um, go ahead and make our drink. I'm so excited. Uh, but like I said, Vossen is the name, link is below. All right guys, let's make our tea. So we brewed the hibiscus tea. It is cooled off. I have, I just make mine in a big old mason jar with a bunch of ice because my tea is not overly cool just yet. So I fill it up. So that is approximately probably two cups of tea. And then we're going to put, this is my measurement. You do you. If you want it sweeter, that's great. So I have a tablespoon measure here. I'm going to put a tablespoon of the sugar-free vanilla in there. Now I will tell you another great thing to do is this hibiscus tea with some true lemon and ice and sweetener. Oh, it's so good. 
and then I have half and half. The half and half for me always depends on how strong I made the tea. So we'll start with a tablespoon. And stir it in. Oh yeah, I think about a half a tablespoon more. This, I made this a little strong, which I'm okay with. And then I just stir it up and I let it get real cold. And then I'm gonna change the camera and we're gonna talk about it. Okay, I've got my tea. Oh, it's so cold. Mmm. That is delicious. It does need some more sweetener. Typically a tablespoon works, but like I said, I've never tried this brand before. So I'm gonna add probably another half a tablespoon. And it might just be the brand of syrup, but that's why we taste it. And let's see. Mmm. That is really good. Wellington would like to try some. Hi, baby, you want to try some too? He sees the cream or he smells it. Say hi. So guys, that is everything. It is creamy. It is a little tart from the um, hibiscus tea because that definitely has a tartness to it. It's creamy from the cream and sweet. Think like a tropical, orange sickle or an orange cream sickle. Oh, so good. So I hope you make this this summer. Put a little rum in it if you really want a fun drink. And I will talk with y'all later. Bye.